We're on review lesson three. We're going to be solving word problems involving time. So remember, we're writing down these word problems. You're writing this down, copying it down, and then we're going to solve it together. So if you need to pause, make sure you do that. You're not just doing the math. Everything on the screen needs to be copied, please, for your homework. I saw a movie that was two hours and 37 minutes long. So two hours and 37 minutes. What time could I have entered the theater and what time could I have left the theater? All right, so let's start with an easy number. Let's start with 12 o'clock. So at 12 o'clock, I need to, this is when the movie started, right? So at the passage of time, if two hours and 37 minutes have gone by, I need to add two hours and 37 minutes to 12 o'clock. Well, 12 o'clock, if I added two hours, you would have 12 o'clock, 12 to one would be an hour, and then one to two would be two hours. So our hours would be two o'clock, right? And then 37 minutes, okay? So this is plus two hours. Now we're going to add our 37 minutes. Well, 2 o'clock, if you add 37 minutes to that, it would be 2 hours and 37 minutes, or 2.37. So this would be when the movie finished. Now let's do a harder one, okay? Let's start at 1.30. Now, if you added two hours to this, okay, so 1.30 to 2.30 is an hour, and then 2.30 to 3.30 is an hour, right? 1.30 to 2.30, I added one hour, right? 2.30 to 3.30 is plus one hour. Make sure you're writing these notes down. So this is two hours, 3.30. Now I need to add my minutes. Well, we know that in an hour there's 60 minutes. So if I added 37 minutes here, I can't do it like normal addition, right? You have to think about how many minutes are in an hour. I see that here, three and three is six. So that's going to get me to a new hour. Right? So this is going to now be 4 o'clock and 7 minutes, 4.07. Because 3 and 3, that's 60 minutes, right? And 60 minutes is an hour. So you have 4.07 is when the movie finished or ended. All right? Let's look at another one. Remember to copy this problem down so you're able to refer to it as we go. At the fair, the puppet show started at 8.38 a.m. and ended at 12.45 a.m. Story time was three quarters of an hour longer than the puppet show. How long was story time? So let's first look at these numbers. And we need to know about story time. So together... Um, the puppet show started at 8.38 and ended at 12.45. So let's figure out how much time went by between 8.38 all the way to 10.45. Well, we know that we've gone up some hours, right? 8.38 plus one hour is 9.38, right? We're not at 10.45 yet. If we added another hour, plus one hour, we'd be at 10.38. We haven't reached 10.45 yet, but we can't add any more hours, right? Because we need to make sure that we have 10.45. So now we need to add minutes. Well, how many minutes from 38 to 45? Well, you just count up. 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. So plus seven minutes. 
which makes sense because 38 plus 7 is 45. So we have 10, 45. So we have 1, 2 hours and 7 minutes. But story time, that was for puppet show. Puppet show was 2 hours and 7 minutes, right? So we just solved this first sentence. Now let's look at the second sentence. Story time was three quarters of an hour longer than a puppet show. Well, we need to think about what does three quarters of an hour mean? Well, if we take one hour and our denominator here is in four equal parts, right? So we need to divide an hour into four equal parts. Well, that's not too easy. So let's divide this by minutes. Now it'd be much easier to divide 60 into four equal parts, right? So I'm going to take 60 and divide it by four. How many fours are in six? One. You guys remember long division, bring down. How many fours are in 25? Okay, so if I had an hour divided into four equal parts, each of those parts would be 15 minutes long, which makes sense because 15, 30, 45, 60, right? Four equal parts of an hour. Well, I have three of those four equal parts. So this is one equal part. I have three of those equal parts, right? I have three fourths. So I take my whole. I break it into fours because fractions are really division. So whole into four equal parts. How many of those parts do I have? I have three of them. So 15 plus 15 plus 15 is 45 sixtieths, which is equal to three fourths. Now if you were to do a quick review, multiply by 15, multiply by 15, that's an equivalent fraction, isn't it? Okay, so that works. Now. It says story time was three quarters of an hour longer than the puppet show. So I need to add 45 minutes to the puppet show. So I have two hours and seven minutes plus 45 minutes. Okay, so my hours are going to stay the same because 45 and seven does not equal 60. So I don't regroup an hour. So let's see, I have five and seven. So I have 52 minutes. So story time was two hours and 52 minutes. All right, please make sure you're writing this down. A science class begins at 1.30 p.m. and ends at 3 p.m. How many minutes long is that science class? So we need to think about how many minutes are from 1.30 all the way to 3 o'clock. All right, well, I know that I'm going to be adding an hour to get to 2.30, right? If I added another hour, I would have 3.30. So that, we can't do that. Now we have to add by minutes. So how many minutes are there between 2.30 and 3 o'clock? Well, 30. So one hour is equal to 60 minutes plus 30 minutes, and that's all equal to 90 minutes. So, how many minutes are in longest science class? It is 90 minutes long. A turkey was put in the oven at 9.20 a.m. If it takes two hours to cook, what time should it be taken out of the oven? So we're going to add two hours to our 9.20, right? Because it says it takes two hours, okay? What time do I need to take it out? So 9.20. If I add one hour, I have 10.20. If I add another hour, I have 11.20. So one, two hours, what time does it need to be taken out? 11.20. And it'll be 11.20 a.m. because we haven't passed noon yet. All right. This problem is your homework tonight. A window cleaner takes three hours to wash 30 windows on a building. All the windows are the same size. About how long does the cleaner take to wash each window? Make sure you write down this problem. 
Your next homework problem is Marcus read a library book from 315 to 445. His sister Laura read her library book from 430 to 615. Who read longer and how much longer? Okay? Thank you so much for your hard work and I will see you tomorrow.